Here are 10 WWE superstars who received their own custom championships. Number 10. John Cena Long before the 16-time world champion was dominating the main event, John Cena was a popular mid-carder on SmackDown, where he captured the United States Championship on three occasions in 2004. Upon winning his third title from Carlito, the rapping superstar showed off his own style by customizing the gold, giving the WWE Universe its very first spinner belt. Made to emulate spinning rims, the title made its debut at the Armageddon 2004 pay-per-view when Cena defeated Carlito's bodyguard in a street fight, but the spinner was only around for a couple of months thanks to then-WWE champion John Bradshaw Layfield. When Cena met JBL's chief of staff Orlando Jordan on the March 3, 2005 edition of SmackDown, it was interference by the Texan that cost Cena the gold, with the spinner belt being destroyed by Bradshaw the very next week. A sad end to the title, it would be Cena who would have the last laugh, as he'd go on to beat JBL to win his first WWE Championship at WrestleMania 21, and to add insult to injury, would turn that title into a spinner as well. Even when Cena lost the WWE spinner, the design remained, and although fans had plenty of issues with the look of the belt, the WWE Spinner Championship would last for just short of eight years before being replaced by The Rock in 2013. Number 9. Goldust One of the most bizarre superstars of all time, Goldust first made his presence felt in the WWF upon his debut in 1995 and immediately made an impact. After a series of impressive victories, including defeating Bam Bam Bigelow in what would be the Super Heavyweight's last WWF match, the Golden One turned his attentions to then-Intercontinental Champion Razor Ramon. Meeting at the 1996 Royal Rumble, the Bizarre One would win his first of three Intercontinental titles from the bad guy, thanks to the interference from the 123 Kid. Shortly after, Goldust would edit the title, removing the black strap of the championship and replacing it with a gold colored leather, representing his love for all that glitters. With Goldust now competing in AEW under his real name, Dustin Rhodes, it's unlikely that fans will ever see a fourth title reign for the Bizarre One, though perhaps he'll give himself a custom title if he does capture a title in the new promotion. Number 8. Stone Cold Steve Austin Arguably the most popular WWE superstar of all time, it's only fitting that Stone Cold Steve Austin received a custom championship after his huge win at WrestleMania 14. After defeating Shawn Michaels at the show and helping to usher in the Attitude Era, Austin revealed his new title on the July 7, 1998 edition of Raw, during a confrontation with The Undertaker. Dubbed the Smoking Skull title, the championship is pure Austin, with rattlesnakes and skulls representing the Texans' dangerous side. Though this wasn't the first time a title had been edited, the Smoking Skull title is reportedly the first time it was done without WWE's approval. According to WWE archivist Benjamin Brown, the bionic redneck shelled out his own money for the custom championship and shocked everyone, both in the crowd and backstage, when he debuted it. When Austin won his second WWF title at WrestleMania 15, the plan was for Stone Cold to bring the title back until it was stolen by Shane McMahon, and by the end of 1999, the Smoking Skull Belt had been retired for good. Number 7. Daniel Bryan the most recent custom championship that fans have seen, the Daniel Bryan variant of the WWE Championship debuted on January 29, 2019 on SmackDown Live. The story of Bryan and the title was a long time coming, as for years it seemed that the Yes Man would never be able to wrestle again, but he would instead capture the title from AJ Styles and turn heel in the process in November 2018. After defeating the Phenomenal One at the Royal Rumble, Brian revealed the new title that shared his eco-conscious ideas, including replacing the leather and jewels with more environmentally friendly materials. Even the gold itself used for the title was replaced by wooden paneling, much to the horror of many fans. Describing himself as the planet's champion, Brian would retain the title against various superstars before coming up against Kofi Kingston at WrestleMania 35. With the New Day and the entire WWE Universe on his side, Kingston's 11-year quest finally came to fruition by pinning Bryan at the Showcase of the Immortals, and after the match would go back to using the standard WWE Championship, ending the reign of the Environmentalist once and for all. Number 6. Bradshaw 
Though he may have been horrified by John Cena's spinner belt in 2005, John Bradshaw Layfield is no stranger to customizing championship titles himself. Before he was the millionaire loudmouth, JBL was Bradshaw, the hard-hitting Texan who in 2002 captured the Hardcore Championship for the 11th time. Winning the gold from Johnny the Bull Stamboli on the July 15th edition of Raw, Bradshaw would use the title to reflect his roots, renaming the title the Texas Hardcore Championship and giving it a new look. Emblazoned with the iconic flag of the Lone Star State, Bradshaw was clearly proud to be champion, and the gold even featured a small set of longhorns at the top, which fans would get more familiar with on Bradshaw's limo when he transformed into JBL. Much like how the original hardcore title was made from a smashed up winged eagle belt, Bradshaw used a smoking skull variant of the WWF title as the base for his Texas hardcore title, making this championship the first customization of a customized belt. Number 5. Edge when John Cena debuted his WWE spinner belt in the summer of 2005, it'd be many, many months before the title received a makeover. That makeover came in the summer of 2006 when Edge, who captured the title for the second time from Rob Van Dam, retained the gold at SummerSlam against Cena himself. The next night on Raw, the ultimate opportunist and Lita formally retired the previous spinner design and replaced the title with one emblazoned in Edge's Rated R logo, ushering in what they described as a new era. It wasn't long for Edge's new era to be under jeopardy though, as not long after, Jeff Hardy returned to WWE after a three-year absence, with his eyes set on the title. Though the charismatic Enigma would be unsuccessful in capturing the gold on this occasion, Cena would fare much better, despite the odds being stacked against him. With his career on Raw on the line in Edge's specialty TLC match, the pair met in Edge's hometown of Toronto at Unforgiven, and despite all adversity, it was Cena who picked up the win. Hoisting the rated R spinner belt above his head, this would be the last glimpse of the title, as the next time Edge captured the WWE Championship in 2008, he didn't change the look. Number 4. The Ultimate Warrior when The Ultimate Warrior met Hulk Hogan in the Toronto Sky Dome at WrestleMania 6, there was plenty on the line. The Intercontinental Champion at the time, Warrior would defeat the Hulkster to claim Hogan's WWF title and would go through a series of championship decorations over his time as the top star. At SummerSlam 1990, The Warrior would unveil a new WWF title with a striking blue strap and would successfully retain the title in a steel cage match against Rick Rude. Flash forward to November, where Warrior would debut arguably the best-looking version of the title at Survivor Series, leading his men to victory with the beautiful white-strapped Winged Eagle title. Unfortunately for the Wild Man, the Warrior's luck would run out at the 1991 Royal Rumble, where he would debut a purple strap for the title and take on Sergeant Slaughter. Losing the match and the title to the heel Slaughter, the Warrior would never capture the WWE Championship again, and to date, no other superstar has changed the color of the strap for every pay-per-view they've appeared at. Number 3. Tommy Dreamer We all know that Tommy Dreamer was the heart and soul of ECW, so when the Extreme promotion folded in early 2001, it was only a matter of time before Dreamer joined the WWF. As you'd expect, Dreamer was a staple of WWE's hardcore division upon his arrival, holding the title a total of 10 times for a combined duration of 28 days. Much like Bradshaw and his Texas variant of the gold, Dreamer would also show his home pride as champion, changing the gold to reflect his hometown of Yonkers, New York. With a New York license plate as the centerpiece, the title was a love letter to everything from the Big Apple, and included an I Heart New York sticker, as well as one of the side plates being a tribute to the emergency services who risked everything during the September 11 attacks. Dreamer also has the distinction of being the final man to win the title under 24-7 rules, and at the age of 48, could always make a comeback to capture the 24-7 title in the near future. Number 2. Jeff Hardy Outside of the ring, Jeff Hardy is known for his work as an artist, both in music and on canvas, so when the charismatic Enigma captured the TNA World Championship in 2010, fans expected a big change. Not only did Hardy turn heel to win the title, aligning himself with Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, and Immortal at Bound for Glory, Hardy also reflected this new side of him with a new purple championship belt, with the gold being created in Hardy's own image. A title unlike anything else ever seen in wrestling, the plates were a mixture of shapes and came with Hardy's face on it, but this was just one of multiple problems with the title. 
Not only was the bizarre shape and purple color scheme blasted by fans, but fans also criticized the Hardy-focused design, as when Mr. Anderson won the title at Genesis 2011, the title didn't look right with the Green Bay loudmouth. Over the years, fan opinion on the title continues to be that the Immortal Gold is one of, if not the worst, looking championship in all of wrestling, and in the many years and many titles Jeff has held since, he hasn't tried to change any designs. Number 1. The Rock We've saved quite possibly the strangest title on the list for last, as The Rock's special Brummel Bull version of the WWF Championship never made it to TV. The story goes that after Stone Cold Steve Austin had done well with the Smoking Skull title, The Rock was set to receive his own custom title after his win at the 1998 Survivor Series, with this title featuring a large bull giving the people's eyebrow, living up to Rock's nickname as the Brahma Bull. For years, the story went that the belt had been lost in the mail, which explained why, for all of his many reigns as WWE Champion, the Great One never wore this custom title. It's only been in recent years that the truth came out, though, as WWE's resident archivist Benjamin Brown finally got the truth from The Rock's very own mother, Ada Johnson. According to the most electrifying mom in sports entertainment, the story of the belt being lost in the mail is entirely untrue, which makes sense as the belt has consistently been seen at WrestleMania access over the years. When Brown asked the Great One himself, Rock revealed the title never appeared on television for creative reasons and has instead been stashed in WWE HQ all the time.